Good day. During the course of the next 30 to 40 weeks, we're going to be posting a weekly news flash. Each one will deal with many of the commonly occurring and not so commonly occurring snakes in Zambia. Some of the posts will explain the physiology, characteristics and senses for understanding and identification purposes. With each post, feel free to comment and ask questions. The first snake that we would like to showcase is the Southern African Python of the genus and species Python natalensis. The longest and most robust of the African snakes south of the equator. In Zambia, this snake is generally recognized in the vernacular as Ulusatu. Please watch the next video demonstration showcasing this snake. Here we have it, the Southern African Python, Python natalensis. One of the largest and most robust snakes on the African continent south of the equator. This is a small one. They can reach as much as uh, four and a half and sometimes even, even up to six meters, but that's rare. But note this, the ground color is a, can be a light, a brown, a tan brown, a sandy brown, and along its body you'll see these asymmetrical lighter colored blotches going all the way to the tail. It's a robust snake and it's strong. This is all muscle. This is muscle and they are an immensely strong constrictor. But also note this, should you only see the snake's head, you will note this arrow shaped marking on top of its head. And that is characteristic of all of this species of snake to some extent or another. Now it's a widely distributed snake across most of sub-Saharan Africa and as well as in Zambia. It can be encountered in virtually all of the provinces of Zambia where it prefers the habitat that is grassy, grassy and rocky, even light woodland. But it tends to avoid desert and desert scrub as well as rainforest. Now, one of the unique features about this snake is that it's one of very few snakes on the African continent that has what we call a super sense. And that super sense is here on the upper and lower labials or lips. It has heat detecting scales. And these heat detecting scales enable this snake to see or pick up the heat signature of warm-blooded prey in pitch darkness. So therefore, if you're walking in the bush, this snake at night time will see you long before you see it. And in most cases, because we are a much larger creature than this, it will make an effort to vacate the space. But when it comes to food, it will pursue it. It will then bite it, and it will, within seconds, it will coil around the victim that it's captured. It will constrict it until it asphyxiates and or has heart failure of some description. And then once it's dead, it will proceed to swallow it whole from the head towards the tail. It seems like a very restful snake at the moment. But when they warmed up, they can strike with lightning speed. And they have four rows of very sharply recurved teeth on the upper jaw and two rows on the bottom jaw. In terms of their diet, a small one white like this may eat rats, rabbits, the occasional small wild pig and even baby antelope. As they get bigger they can handle much larger prey but they take some weeks to digest a large meal. And during that time, they're exceptionally vulnerable to predators because they can't move very fast. So there you have it. An interesting snake indeed. Thank you for your time. And thank you very much for Kalimba Reptile Park for hosting me.